job taking Patrick Young away. We weren't able to really get a, get the ball to him in a lot of space to operate because they were providing so much help. And you know what you give up is is things on the perimeter. And um, you know it was a, it was a game where you know, Patrick did you know get some stuff around the basket going six for six. But you know, it was a game where I thought we moved past and shared the ball except for a couple lapses in the, the middle of the first half and there late in the second half where we turned it over a few times. I thought we were really unselfish. I thought we moved and passed the basketball, and I thought we got really, really good looks throughout the course of most of the game. And, um, you know, I think this was a game where, you know, coming out of the, the, the Georgia game where we started the game down 11-2, um, you know, it's always tough to give yourself a hole like that on the road. And uh, you know, I was encouraged to see our guys come out with a better start. Um, you know, and then again, I thought we faltered a little bit in the middle of the first half. They went on a 7-0 run, but we kind of gathered ourselves and closed the half out real well. And then we started the second half, I thought, very, very well on both ends of the floor. Just any feelings about the level this team is playing at now? Eight in a row, you guys haven't won eight in a row since the beginning of nine. Yeah, you know, I, I, I never really look at games in a row or things like that. I look at more of the next game and where you need to improve, you know, from the previous game. And as I said, you know, coming out of the Georgia game, getting off to such a, I don't want to say a slow start because Georgia certainly was the aggressor in the game and, you know, probably had us back on our heels a little bit. And we go into the half down three and then we start the second half really, really well. So I think it's just about trying to get better and improve from one game to the next and where you've got to work and where you've got to try to get better. And, um, you know, I, I thought we, we did a really good job, which we didn't do in the first half against Georgia, really moving the ball and passing. We did it against Georgia in the second half, but we did a much, much better job from start to finish in this game. Is the, is the next thing to kind of emphasize maybe them taking care of the ball a little bit, giving, giving some allowances? Well, you know, I think any time you go against a team that changed a lot of defense, they forced, you know, quite a bit of turnovers. I thought we had a couple of careless ones. Kenny got stripped at half court. Scotty got kind of poked from behind, and then he made a poor pass. And, you know, Boise kind of got stripped there at half court. Th those to me were more a little bit of, you know, uh, those guys doing a good job, you know, from behind tipping the ball and, you know, switching up defenses. And uh, But when we took care of it, we got good shots. You know, is 14 turnovers too high? You know, it's, I, I'd like to see it a little bit lower, but I didn't think that. We, we had segments where we were sloppy with the ball, but I wouldn't say we were sloppy for the whole game. Uh, Jalen Steele had no points tonight. What was your kind of defensive approach to him? Well, you know, I... We, we wanted to put Boynton on him, and we wanted to put uh, you know Scotty on Sword because I think we, if you look at the two wins that 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 they had, and certainly in Athens, when, when you got like I really think that Rick is doing a great job with his team because the three freshmen that are playing the majority of the minutes, Sword, Thomas, and uh, Ware, those guys are going to be really good players in this league. It's very very difficult in our league. You know, to come in and absorb as many minutes as they have to absorb. Um, but the, the one guy that, to me, adds a different element to their team is Steele. And I think that's what happened in Athens. You know, it's a pretty close game. And then probably about the six or seven minute mark of the game, he kind of goes crazy and knocks down a couple threes, knocks down a, a, a couple baseline jumpers. And he was the one that really opened up the game for them in Athens. So. I think Boynton understands him just because, you know, Steele's been in the league for a few years, as had Boynton. Um, I think he respects his capability to kind of go on runs. Uh, I, th I, I think the biggest thing we tried to do with Steele was just try to make him play on the bounce, not really give him any shots where he could just catch and shoot it. Because I think when he does that, you know, he's really deadly. And I think part of his production in years past has been, you know, they've had such really good personnel and experienced personnel around him. That you know, when you got Sydney and some of these other guys in years past and Bost, they can kind of find him. And you know, Steele maybe in years past is what Frazier is for us this year, you know, where he kind of can knock down some threes when he gets open. But you know, he's one of those guys to me, Steele, you really got to pay attention to him. Like, I give him credit with the way he plays the game. I don't know what Rick wants out of him from an <coughs> offensive standpoint, but he doesn't force anything. And, and to me, that's a sign of a veteran player, it doesn't take bad shots. You know, he's got it, he takes it, he looks like he's bought in, he's trying to do what it looks like what Rick wants him to do. Um, and, uh, you know, because he's a junior and a good player, he's going to get a lot of attention from a lot of different teams. Yeah.